So I bought this crappy little $50 desk at Ikea to use in one of my studio rooms. It seemed like it would work, but once I brought it home and assembled it, I realized there was a problem. The drawer was in the way of my legs, so I had to lower my chair. But then I had to hold my arms in a very uncomfortable position, so I decided it was time for a few modifications. The first thing to go was the drawer. I have no need for it anyway. So I took off the rails too. Ah, that was much better. But I think there are some other improvements I could make. After all, the desk is very small and I have to sit this Mac Mini on top along with the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. What if I could put it up under here? So I cut out this piece of scrap wood and did some experimenting. Fortunately, these IKEA desks can be taken back apart easily. I needed to add some brackets in place in order to hold my new shelf. I also decided to mount a power strip on the inside of the desk to uh, help keep the cable clutter down. Now, as I mentioned before, if you paint wood and leave stuff on top of it, it'll stick to the paint, especially computer equipment. I had some leftover VCT tile from my last project, so I just used some of that to cover up the shelf. And this is what it looks like after the tile. So now it was time to screw it onto the desk. The power cord can go down this little hole I cut out. And you can see that the Mac Mini and the power supply will easily fit on this shelf. Now it's time to put the top back on and lock it down. Since the computer was going to be under the desk, I decided to mount a USB hub on the top since I'm going to be plugging in a lot of USB devices into this computer. I did this by uh, using double sided tape on the bottom and then screwing it down with a custom bracket I created. And you can see how convenient this is since the hub stays in place. Now you can see everything fits on the shelf and the cables are nice and out of the way. And now it's time to test it out. It appears to be a winner.